Archaeologists in Egypt have found the antiquated mummy of an adolescent young lady decked out in delightful adornments, including beaded accessories and copper studs. As per the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, the youngster was just 15 or 16 years of age when she kicked the bucket during the 17th tradition, 1580 BC to 1550 BC. A group of Spanish and Egyptian archaeologists revealed her embalmed stays just as a couple of calfskin shoes. While uncovering in front of a development venture in an open patio by the tomb of General Dahuti, who served under Lord Thutmose III, stepson and nephew to the female pharaoh Hatshepsut, during the 18th line, Jose Galan, executive of the Archaeological Strategic. In an announcement posted on Facebook, the young lady's mummy was laying on its correct side in the draw Abul Naga necropolis on Luxor's West Bank, as indicated by Aram Online, an Egyptian paper. In spite of the fact that the mummy had crumbled over the millennia, reclamation restored her gems to unblemished condition. This included two winding studs covered with a flimsy metal leaf, potentially of copper, in one of her ears, just as two rings on her fingers and four pieces of jewelry hung around her neck. One ring was designed out of bone, while the other was made of metal and held an inserted blue glass dab with string folded over it. The four accessories were integrated with the coated earthenware, or the ons cut. Like the rings, every neckband was exceptional. One 27.5 inch long, 70 centimeters neckband was made of round dabs that switched back and forth among dim and light blue faience. And another accessory, estimating 24.4 inches long, 62 centimeters jewelry, had green faience and glass dots. The third accessory was a fortune even by the present gauges. The 24-inch long, 61-centimeters neckband had 74 pieces, including globules of amethyst, a Tanish red gemstone called carnelian, golden, blue glass, and quartz. As indicated by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, it additionally wore two scarabs, including one demonstrating Horus, a divine being delineated as a bird of prey, and five faience special necklaces. At long last the fourth neckband was planned with a few strings of faience dots, which were tied together at the two finishes with a ring. The 5.7 foot long, 1.75 meters final resting place was cut out of a sycamore tree trunk. At the hour of the youngster's demise, it had been whitewashed and painted in red, as per Arama online. The archaeologists likewise found a small-scale mud-made final resting place that was as yet integrated with the string, close to the young person's mummy. At the point when they opened this little casket, the archaeologists found a wooden funerary puppet, known as a Ushabdi, enclosed by four material wraps. The doll and one of the swabs were set apart in hieratic, an antiquated Egyptian cursive content, with the name of the proprietor, the Osiris. Dahuti. The uncovering group likewise found a couple of calfskin shoes and cowhide balls integrated with the string, which additionally dated to the 17th tradition. The shoes are in a decent condition of conservation, notwithstanding being 3,600 years of age, Golan said. These shoes were colored red and engraved with pictures of the god bees. The goddess Taweret, a couple of felines, an ibex and a rosette, as indicated by Arama online. In view of the shoe's size and designs, almost certainly, they had a place with the lady, Golan said. The balls were utilized by ladies for sport or for arranged moving, as indicated by pictures of day-by-day -day life found in the Beni Hassan tombs from the Middle Kingdom, 2040 BC to 1782 BC, of Egypt.